What is up everybody? This is my little review here of Drive Club. Now for those of you who don't know, this is pretty much Forza, but for the PS4 because Forza is only for Xbox. So I just got it uh, today actually, and I've been playing it for a couple hours, and so far I'm having a really good time playing it. Um, unfortunately, the online servers are down because there's so many people playing the game right now, but um, we're still able to play campaign and mess around and fun stuff like that. So this right here is like the third level in the campaign mode. Um, I didn't want to go ahead and show one of like the campaign levels that are deeper in the game, just I don't want to spoil anything for anybody. So uh, it's starting off here in the beginning. And um, so far I'm having a lot of fun playing this game. I'm not, you know, I'm, I don't think it's bad or whatnot. I know there was a lot of, de lot of debate that this game isn't getting lit up to the Forza hype, but um, it's, you can't really complain if we don't even have a game like Forza anyway for PS4. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, of course. Anyways, um, I think the big question everyone wants to know is how fun is just how fun is drifting in this game, and um, it's pretty fun. I mean, honestly, compared to Forza, that feels a little numb, but um, I think that's because I'm still like I guess in the novice level of the game, so it doesn't give me the full like access to controls. I think that's what the issue is. Not really an issue, but I think that's the reason for it. But you can still do drifts. Um, you can just pull the e brake and the car goes sideways. Um, so far, it's been really not that hard to do it. Um, I'm hoping. Like I said, I think it's gonna get harder as. You know, you go into the higher levels and you have more control. But yeah, so I'm just going to show you some gameplay here to see if you guys, you know, think you like it or whatnot. And you guys can check it out because so far I'm having a blast playing it. And this game, def I definitely give this game a double thumbs up because uh, it's very realistic. The graphics are great. You know, you have all the same things as far as you can get inside the car and do all that fun stuff. Um, so right now I'm on manual shift mode and there is an automatic shift mode, but who the hell wants to use that? <laughs> But um, it's loads of fun. Oh, I just got, I just couldn't see the sun was my eye. Anyways, uh, here, I'll try and do a drift here in the corner. Not really an ideal spot to do it, but, oh, didn't hold it. Didn't hold it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, gosh. Oof. I think I'm not the best. Yeah, this is one of my first racing games I've ever gotten. Um, that's like a legit racing game, not Need for Speed and all that, time, all that kind of crap. <laughs> But yeah, so I was thinking that maybe if you know, people get this game, we could do like an online server and we could all get in and play with each other and do like a live stream, do something like that. I think that'd be pretty sweet. So I just wanted to show you guys the game and uh, give you a little uh, sneak peek of what it's like if you haven't already seen gameplays or whatnot. And uh, if you're thinking about getting this game, I would suggest you do get it because I'm having a lot of fun playing it. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this little video and uh, I'll talk to you next time.